When the team at Line 6 designed Helix, they knew it had to be three different things. It had to sound and feel real, it had to be smart and easy to use, and it had to be able to control other pieces of gear acting as a centerpiece for any guitar rig. To make Helix sound and feel real, Line 6 used HX modeling technology to capture massive amounts of detail from the circuit boards of classic and modern pieces of gear. Even individual components are modeled and recreated. And it's also about how those components behave together on the circuit board. During the modeling process, each stage of the circuit is measured and matched to the original. Even the notoriously difficult behavior of effects such as the germanium fuzz and bucket brigade analog delay pedals can be modeled using HX modeling technology. And this level of detail gives the tones lots of depth and character, making them feel and sound very real. That attention to detail also applies to the speaker cabinets. The latest HX cabinets come with a choice of 12 different microphones that can have their angle, position and distance changed. All of this modelling takes a long time. Free firmware updates have more than doubled the amount of models since its release, and Helix also loads third-party impulse responses. In order to get the best out of all those models, Helix has to be smart, intuitive and fun to use. Creating and editing presets is very simple. When placing the signal path, each model sits in a block. It's possible to run up to 32 blocks at once on the four stereo paths. On the home page, the large colour display makes it easy to see the blocks and the signal path. You can also see the parameters for whichever block is highlighted. Those parameters can be edited instantly using the six knobs below the screen, so there's no menu diving for simple adjustments, just like traditional amps and effects. The instrument's signal moves left to right along the path, and it's up to you which moulds you want in that path and where you want them to be placed. To do this, simply use the joystick to move to the block you want, then press to open up the model list, scroll to the category you require, press again to see the models, then press again to choose. Your chosen amp, cab or effect will then appear in the signal path with the parameters available for editing. The four paths can be routed in extremely versatile ways, creating elaborate and complex setups with different inputs routed to different outputs. Helix Floor has 12 foot switches that are colour coded and capacitive touch. When an effect or amp is assigned to a foot switch, simply touching that foot switch selects its block, enabling you to instantly edit its parameters. The capacitive touch foot switches enable you to tweak a lot of things in a very intuitive and fun way. Each Helix Floor foot switch has a scribble strip above it. They have default names based on their assignments, but could be customised to say anything you like. Helix can be switched into preset or stomp mode. Preset mode for moving quickly between different presets, stomp mode for using Helix like a traditional pedal board. Helix also has an expression pedal that can be assigned to control multiple parameters at the same time. If you have a favorite preset but need it slightly or dramatically tweaked, maybe for a lead break or middle section of a song, and Helix Snapshots could be your new best friend. Each Helix preset can have up to eight snapshots, so that's up to eight easily foot switchable variations within each preset, each with multiple parameters changing at the same time. So one foot press could switch one effect on and another off, whilst also turning up the amp gain and the delay mix, but it could also be turning down things like the reverb level at the same time. It's as easy as changing to a new snapshot, tweaking to taste by pressing and turning the parameters you would like to control and then resaving that preset. To see all eight snapshots on the foot switches, press bank up and down together. The scribble strip names and foot switch colors are all customizable. Helix Floor is loaded with inputs and outputs. Along the back panel, there are inputs for two more expression pedals. There's an extension amp jack. Now you use this to channel change and switch the reverb on or off on a traditional amplifier, either by assigning them to a Helix foot switch with custom color and scribble strip, or to switch them instantly as you change preset or snapshot. 
A CV controlled voltage jack is for controlling vintage pedals or synths. A guitar input and padded aux instrument jack. A microphone input with 48 volt phantom power, which is ideal for backing vocals or recording. Helix 4 has four effects loops. Now again, these can be assigned to foot switches. You can also use the sends and returns as extra inputs and outputs. At its most extreme, you could create a preset with four guitar or bass amps, all with effects, all taking a feed from a separate input and then sending the process signal to a separate output. Helix has 10 inputs and 12 outputs in total. Helix can power and control Line 6 Variax. With the Variax, each preset could also control different guitar models and tunings. MIDI in and out. Helix Command Center allows you to send all kinds of MIDI command messages, either assigned to foot switches or as one of six instant commands when you change preset. Helix Command Center also allows for fun things like QWERTY remote control of any software, including things like YouTube or Spotify. Things like QWERTY remote control of any software, including things like YouTube or Spotify. Then we have SP Diff in and out, AES EBU Digital Out, and L6 Link. L6 Link transmits multiple audio signals and command data over a single cable to Line 6 power cab plus speaker systems. USB allows Helix Floor to be used as a computer interface for recording with reamping or for connecting to our free software HX Edit. Use HX Edit to tweak, save, and share all your presets, as well as install third party impulse responses. Now, of course, there's way more to Helix Flow than what I've had time to talk about here, but hopefully, this gives you a quick overview of some of the main features. So, thank you very much for watching.